We are back for another show. Soccer and cross country are in full swing now, and it's going to be a great season out of both of the programs. Today we talked to Liam Madam with the men's soccer team to talk about this season and the really exciting weekend we have coming up. This is In the Saddle. Welcome back to another In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Today I have Liam Madden on the show from the men's soccer team. Welcome. Thank you. So the Drovers were touted pretty pretty high in the beginning preseason. They were expected to take the Sooner Athletic Conference and were picked 10th in the NAI. So um, talk about the season. Um, the season, the main prospect is for us to go back to national tournament. I mean, we didn't do as well last year in the conference tournament. Uh, that's something I definitely look to improve on and the last 16 of the Nationals is the minimum goal for us this year is to get back there. Um, yeah, the drivers have been to the National Tournament the last four years in a row, so really uh, hoping to see them go back again. Um, that kind of had a rough start. We've been playing some of the uh, best teams in the country, really, some really top teams, um, but haven't really started the, the way we were hoping. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the first game we played really well, 3-0 against Houston Victoria, clean sheet. Um, Alwyn getting a couple of good goals as a freshman, that's a good opportunity for him coming in. And the second game we obviously we went down to 10 men with a lot 15 minutes to go, it was difficult for us to come back. Um, and San Antonio with the heat was really tough, um, we went to overtime so unfortunately we lost that one. And then Texas Brownsville the other day, um, it was another close game and unfortunately we just let it slip at the end. But we looked to improve and get better each, each game as we go on. Have the coaches made any adjustments or anything? Um, we've been working hard. We've been doing two sessions a day. We've been doing a lot of fitness work, keeping up our general training, our technical work, and just getting the freshmen adjusted to how, how the drovers usually work and just working hard every day. Um, drovers have two more games. They play um, Tuesday and, and Saturday before the big nationally broadcast game. Torbo Sports Group is coming. Um, to you to Chickasha to broadcast the game of the week against mm -hmm. Bethel. Um, so what's it like for you to be part of such a, a big event? I mean, it's a good opportunity for us. Um, most of the players are international, so our parents obviously don't get to come see any games. Um, parents are always, friends and family are always really interested to know how we're doing and keep in touch with us. Mm -hmm. So for them to get an opportunity to watch a game, it's a really good chance for them to do that. And especially with the broadcast coming, it'll be a good showing. And mm -hmm. Hopefully you can perform well in that game. Yeah, it should be a really good game. It's going to be a three-camera uh, setup, and it's 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 a big deal, game of the week. So are the guys going to be going to be ready? Uh, I hope so. We've got two games to prepare, so hopefully two good victories coming up. Um, get confidence high. We can win that game and put on a good show. And that is Sunday, September fifteenth at two o'clock yeah. Central Standard Time. So um, make sure to watch that. The link will be on USAO's website. What are your goals for this season, both personally and then also for the team as a whole? Um, personally, just to help the team keep improving, get more clean sheets. We've got done really well with clean sheets last year, so hopefully keep doing that this year. And personally, I want to get some more assists. Um, I think I started 16 games last year. I've only got two assists, which is not great for a midfield player, so I'm looking to improve on that. And as a team, just to get as far in the national tournament as possible, last 16 is definitely the goal and to win the, national, the conference tournament as well. This is your second year at USAO. How did you find your way here? You're from Scotland? Yeah, that's true. Um, basically, I signed up to like a scholarship agency company back home in Scotland and they make some footage of you, send it to coaches in America. Um, Coach Hampton offered me a scholarship and USAO researched it. Found it was a really good college. Um, so soccer program was really successful. so. That's made my way here, so I thought it was a good opportunity for me. 
Uh, are there some differences between your hometown and, and Chickasha? Um, I feel here it's a lot more a lot more relaxed. I'm kind of from a big city back in Scotland, so there's a lot of people, it's really busy, a lot of public transport, whereas here it's a lot more relaxed and everyone's kind of just doing their own thing, so it's a lot different. Well, we're glad you made it here and we look forward to um, some really great games and really looking forward to that game on the 15th. Yeah, me too. This year we're going to be doing something a little bit different with our Fan of the Week. We're going to be asking you a trivia question about USAO or USAO Athletics and you'll be the first one to email us with the correct answer, you'll win your very own In the Saddle prize. Today's question is, when our men's and women's basketball programs began in 1973, what were the women called? Do you know the answer? Be the first to email us at usaointhesaddle at yahoo.com. Do you really think women are better than men in sports? Of course, what makes you think they're not? It's a scientific fact proven that women are worse than men in sports. I'll show you, I'm gonna kick it to you, back up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Way on back there, keep going. Almost there, almost there, keep going. Right there, it's perfect. Oh right, she couldn't even make the shot if her life depended on it. Well that's our show. Make sure to keep up to date with schedules and results in between episodes at usao.edu slash sports. We'll see you next time for more soccer and cross country information on In the Saddle. Wake up. You're fine. It was just a kick from a girl. Welcome to the big show.